Hello everybody, Ghost of Baron here and welcome to another part. We are still in chapter 1, episode 1 of uh, Alan, Wake's Alan Wake Remastered. And we uh, just started this generator and created a safe haven for us. And now I need to get through this, through this area and I think I first need to go this way because there would be a coffee thermos. So let's... Let's do the do it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, in this area, though, the problem is that uh, the enemies here are spawning. Oh no! Infinitely. Ouch! Leave me alone, will ya? <laughs> Let's pick up this manuscript page and continue continue upwards. Yeah, I think we are safe. Good. We are safe. So now we can read the page. TV in the gas I station. In the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. So this tells us that when we get to gas station, there is a garage. And there would be a TV. And there would be a TV show on that that we can watch. And the TV show would be pretty weird. Okay, so now we are safe and I can pick up these. So, no, I can't because I haven't used anything. But we can drop down here. And as you saw, there is a, another arrow. And there should be another shack or something. No, not no shack, but there is a there is a supply chest, and that's the warp one, I think. And again, we can pick up this flare gun and some some flares for it. And let's continue forward. And we oh god, what? Right. These voices, though. We might as well use the flyer gun. There's another manuscript page. Yeah, sure. The guys are behind me. Good. There you go. You have got nothing on me. But first, let's pick up the manuscript page. And this uh, this metal gate is, is closed now, so we need to open it. And first I will read the manuscript page again. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Hmm. That is weird. Because she is asking about the cabin on Colton Lake. Also, he was lying to her. But we will see that in a couple minutes. We'll see that whole cutscene, how it plays out. So, there are batteries. There is a shotgun and some shotgun ammunition and there is the TV. Also, this is a switch that opens the gate. But let's first check out the TV show Science. and I will let it play. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives 
scripts are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9 millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment, known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. Well, the second could be a dud. Pull up the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. And one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon quantum immortality. Oh, well, he got angry. Dr. Colvin, felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Yeah. So that was the first Night Springs show. It was interesting. I'm not sure if Quantum World works like that. Actually, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's use let's use the gun for a bit. Right, that's that's done. Now, there is a crate with infinite ammunition and some batteries. And I'm thinking I might want to use... Not this, but maybe the flare gun. That would be... No, maybe not. Hello. There you are. It's called Stucky. Guys, there. Let's. Okay. Thanks. Mr. Stucky needs to die. That's for sure. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Also, I'm gonna use a different gun. Oh, 
Oh, mister. And there you are. Hello. <laughs> oh, that was quick. His body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming okay. I'd reach the light. Let's the pick up the ammunition. Body. Reload on batteries. And there should be nothing here. But there is a coffee thermos, and that's over there by the crane. Yep, there it is. And there's the gas station. Anyway, let's open this big gate again. And let's go here. The place should be pretty safe. But there is a couple of things that we want to get from there. There's the... I recognize the parade float I had seen yeah, in that's Bright the reindeer. Falls when I first arrived with Alice. It's a bit better. I'm not sure if it was like that. At the start, but no, it's like that. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station Good. felt comforting. At Good. least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Anyway, there's a manuscript page. So that's the first thing that I want to get. And let's read it. That's the last one that Stuck we can in the garage take now. And tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling, caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. So that's how Stucky got taken, and it was really after after he didn't deliver the keys or after we didn't get the keys the deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived if the day count on the banner was right i was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now all right so that's interesting we are missing a whole week anyway by this price sign there is another coffee thermos that's the second to last and the last one should be over there by that there is a truck so it's over there but it's not safe here we will get attacked oh yeah if this guy's dead We will also get attacked on our way back. Oh, yeah, there you are. You know what? Yep. I have a blast to the head. There'll be more. Yep, there are three more. Yeah, that guy is dead. Yeah, we should be safe. Let's run, let's run. Ooh. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Okay, so... And just check things real quickly. We got 10 manuscript pages, 14 thermoses. We saw one TV show, zero signs, two radio shows, four chests. That should be correct. So, oh yeah, we already saw that. There the should garage be was a mess. TV it looked show. like someone had trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Yeah, that's how Stucky got taken, right? I would say. What? What? 
Nothing is happening. There should be... There should have been a TV show. What? Okay, that's weird. Hmm. And the game tells me that I already saw it. So, so that's broken. That's broken. Anyway, there is the sign. We can read. 68th Annual Deer Fest, September 15th to 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest and surprise competitions, live music for the children, Bucktooth Charlie in the afternoons and Montgomery the Mystic's Amazing Phantasmagoria evenings. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fest parade. Yeah, so that's that. Is it... Is it really... Can I? No, I can't do anything about it. Okay, I guess I'm not seeing it, but oh, sorry. This is the end. Rainfall Sheriff Station. Thank God, you might shot. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Okay, so that's okay, the I'm end of episode I'm one of Alan Wake, and I'm gonna leave it here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one. Bye.